glass on. house Tunbury. Greenhouse. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, forget Doesn't it. Work. Forget it. I was just going to say, there's actually uh, two Manxies that are performing at Glastonbury this weekend. Okay. There are. You uh, just Terrence carry on. George and, and Tiger Beer are performing at Glastonbury. And that was uh, a w Only a Woman's Heart by Eleanor McAvoy. Um, we are in a secret location. We are in Port Erin at one of the uh, secret gardens here, talking to John and Tony's here as well, and we've got Pam Crow. We've also got Mavis, who I'm guessing, Mavis, you tend to lose John to the garden I quite do, a lot. Yes, I do. He loves his garden. No one has done. <laughs> <laughs> do you take part at all? <laughs> what was that, She's Pam? too busy baking. It's Have a perfect combo. Bakes? <laughs> Not only seen, Pam, we've sampled the cake this afternoon, which is absolutely lovely. But in terms of um, maintenance and keeping this, we've just moved through to the back garden now, John. How long does it take to keep your garden as glorious as it is? Um, uh, maybe an hour a day, but, but no more than that as a rule. Uh, you get busy time of the year. Obviously, uh, spring when you're taking your cuttings, and then this time of year when you're planting things out and then uh, after that it takes care of itself up to a large extent get a good hole and keep the weeds down there's some advice for us all um tanya how long is it going to be before my garden is at that state where i can just let it be well how long are you spending on it right now let's not talk about that <laughs> I don't. even alex in the studio laughed at that one i have to say i, I want to see your sweet peas they should be up here by now yeah, there was an issue. I'll, again, let's not talk about <laughs> it right now. I don't want to talk about it. But Tanya, when you came into this garden, what were some of the plants that, that caught you really caught your eye? Well, he's got a color scheme at the front, so it's lots of pink. So it was an explosion of pink, and there's so many different types of roses up front. He doesn't know all the varieties because they've been in so long, but the scents are just incredible. There's one that smells just like Turkish Delight. So it's that kind of impact and then also all of the scented leaves and other flowers he's got black currant sage which i've just had as a tea recently i have it growing in the garden and i put it in some tea it's amazing and scented geraniums he also has witch hazel we were talking about it blooming early on in the year and it's also good for making skincare from the spot Tanya you know I would never do that but you have got some very exciting news what hints can you give us about oh, it oh oh I can't say a whole lot but I will say that a very well-known television show was here on the island recently paid the allotment to visit and you'll hear a little bit more about that very soon Another so cryptic exciting. clue. I know, I know quite a lot about it. Also. Well, hopefully we'll, we'll share more <laughs> in, the, in the coming weeks. Uh, but we are with Pam Crow, who's uh, put together a lot of this programme for the, the secret gardens and hidden treasures. Pam, tell us about some of the other gardens that are available. I'm, I've got some notes here. Uh, I want to know, for instance, about the world's oldest hen. What's that got to do with gardening? Well, this is a, a good life garden. It's actually a wonderful garden. It's a garden that John knows well. He'd know far more about it than me but they have every kind of vegetable, fruit, and then flowers as well, real imagination. And they have a hen that'll walk around with you, uh, asking the name of the hen from this imaginative couple, uh, the name is hen. <laughs> so yes, but they did say that they thought it was very old. So the world's oldest hen. I mean, who's going to argue? No one's going to argue with you, Pam. <laughs> this is Late Lunch. We are live from a secret garden down in Port Erin, which you will be able to view over the weekend of July the 5th, 6th and 7th. More to come after this.